Okay, we're still continuing with this. I'm just going to spray it a little bit to help me along here so it's a little easier to take care of. And when you spray it, you know, just try to get it nice and damp before you, um, before you start. And uh, what you want to do is, we're, we started doing the top here. Now we're going to go over here and we're going to do this side over here. <laughs> Let the chips fly, folks. It happens when you do, when you do this. They, when sometimes they snap out. Yeah, it means you're doing it nice and even sometimes when they do snap out. Alright, so you want to try to get up to that line as close as possible. And keep that as flat as possible. Okay, we're going to go over here to this side. Put our center line, because we're just continuing that center line. I know it's not written down, it's not drawn down here because we cut that off. But, um... All right. All right. Now we got that side done. Let's flip it to the other side, which is here. All right. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to take our triangles. See the block at the top. We're going to extend that center line down, and we're just going to cut up. If you like precision work, this is perfect. You know, this is nice, simple projects. They're fun to do. Uh, they're great to do in a group setting. I plan to do this one, possibly. I may not have time at our next luncheon, but if uh, the guys or the gals enjoy doing this, that on uh, that when we meet, we'll do it again this fall. And if I do, and you're in the area, come see us at our luncheon, uh, the Carver's Wood Shop luncheon. It doesn't cost anything to come. Okay. And we'll do this side. Now I'll most likely put a DVD together of this one the cat and the Good Friday cross. I don't know if I can fit all that on one, but uh, I'll probably have a new DVD before I get to the show in Lancaster. Uh, I think this would be something a lot of the people would like to learn how to do. I love projects that you can sit and do for a few hours and, you know, it's quick, simple. I like the complicated stuff too. I have to be in the right... Uh, uh, mind frame for that. Um, okay, so we have the top, we got the bottom, and now we're going to do um, this right here. Okay, see this portion right here? We're going to cut that out. So we have all four corners done, right? Okay, so the next thing is we need to do the next center, which would be this one right here. So let's do this one. And it will be a continuance, actually, of that side. We're going to, you'll see it merge. It doesn't look like it's going anywhere, but you'll see. And this is where the precision becomes important, okay? So that's one. We'll do all four corners this way. And this is why a wider knife or a flatter knife than a detailed knife would work better because you can get that really flat as you see there, okay? And then we're going to do this one. It's really important to put that little center line in there. It will stop you from going too far, okay? All right, you see, see how it's merging out? Okay, now this is still doing that one-sided, so we'll do this one here. It's a lot more cutting than the other one. And I think I can get this done in about three segments here. This one will take me about maybe 40 minutes to do if I really, a half an hour, 45 minutes, depending if I get interrupted 
Okay, so okay, so that's that portion. All right, let's flip it over and let's do this section here. Same thing. We're gonna take it down, cut it across. If you're a beginner, okay, and I'm just gonna be very honest with you, do this, do the other one first because that will give you a good idea how to handle that knife and everything else that's part of that. We're systematically making this, so uh, you'll learn how the grain is running. Uh, this one here, you can tell I have to be very careful that I get to the center just right. Um, you know that this portion is nice and flat yet. See, it looks like a box, but all these points are coming out pretty good. And this needs to be trimmed back a little bit. So what you want to do is take it, you know, look at it, and turn it around, look at it. We did this side. Now we're going to go back over here and finish where we started on, okay, across here, okay. So we're going to cut this portion out. It does seem a little confusing when you first start this. You'll get the swing, you'll get the idea, you know, you'll get into the swing of things here. All right, it's an excellent project for a group. It really is. It, you know those spiral um, icicles that we did uh, were a lot of fun to do in a group. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to, or hopefully, we'll be able to do this in our group setting. Okay, see, we've got our our four points there, right? Now we're going to go back up here. And we're going to cut this again. This is going to give us our eight points and our four and that will equal our our twelve. I know my mathematics. And you want to go back and just kind of make sure everything's done just right. Alright, see this is a little off there so we're just going to flatten that out a little bit. Because if you don't, it's going to kind of offset it a little bit. Alright, so now we've gotten this side and this side done, so we got all these points. We're going to go back to the top. You see we have another another triangle with a center line in it. So we're going to take that out again. And we're going to do this one. And you want to kind of get up to that that portion there, but you know if you do this right it should all click together. The first time I did I did it in such a rush because I came with the idea of how to do this by cutting those corners off and I was so excited. They had, it looked a little lopsided when I first had it done but when I did the second one and took my time with it it came out beautifully. It really did. It turned out really really nice. So the idea of this is not to rush through it like I'm doing here but you know, if you want something that's really going to look half decent and nice, you know, doing these. See, it's coming. Coming along. Okay. I'll be right back and we'll finish it up in the next segment. Okay, folks? Bye-bye.